Okay, so to enable us to set number one, let's um, tap it, okay, or valve clearance we call it, we need to rock number four. Now what does it mean to rock number four? If you watch number four's uh, uh, rockers, okay, we'll turn it back a little bit first, okay. Okay, now you'll see the exhaust valve will go down, okay. As the exhaust valve goes down and it starts coming up, all right. As it reaches its uppermost point, you will see the intake valve starting to push down. Okay. You know, that is what we call rocking. Okay, so it's rocking number four. We can now set number one. Okay, now the valve clearance on this car, it's, a, it's actually a hot setting. So we are at a disadvantage where we need to set it twice. We have to give it clearance now. Um, the intake valve is uh, specced at uh, 0.20 of a millimeter and the exhaust valve expect that 0.30 of a millimeter okay so it's 20 and 30 all right point two oh. okay so what i normally do is you can feel the feeler gauge is uh, pretty flexible on that one it's a bit more taut on that one so the exhaust valve normally takes the bigger the greatest clearance okay so we'll put the feeler gauge in and we will adjust it with a screwdriver and a locking spanner, size uh, 12. Okay, so we will we'll basically adjust it like that. Okay, you put your you put your screwdriver in. You turn it very lightly up against till it can't go anymore. Don't force it. Okay, just turn it until you feel it's 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 just you know, going against that feeler gauge there. Okay, and then we will lock. We lock the, 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 the locking nut, okay. And that should keep our valve clearance where we need it to be. That's 30 or 0 0.30 of a millimeter. And then we'll go to the intake, we'll turn it around, we'll put the 0 0.2, 0 0.20 more uh, feeler gauge in there. Okay, and then we'll turn down. And as I said, we'll turn it until we turn that uh, we turn the adjuster right up against the feeler gauge, okay? You don't want to choke it. All right, you just want to turn it up against. All right, and once it's turned up against, you know, then we're going to lock it. So you see how important it was earlier to loosen up these adjusters, okay? You remember I uh, gave you that tip to just loosen up all the adjusters and make sure that they turn very nicely. And this is the reason why I, I insisted on that. Okay, so we lock up that adjuster and we'll feel that number two, um, uh, that 0 0.20 thickness feeler gauge. It just, it, it will just slide in, okay. It'll just slide in like that without forcing it, but it shouldn't go in too easy. All right, so we've got number one set. Now the firing order for this car is one, three, four, two. So that would mean that we'll be setting number three next, which means number two will be rocking. So when we turn the engine, pay attention, um, we've got to turn these rockers down onto the valves so that they actually activate, otherwise they're going to have too much clearance. Alright, so now I'll turn it, you will see exhaust valve will go down on number two. As it comes up and the intake valve starts going down, that's where we're rocking, okay. So we are now rocking, we are now rocking on number two, which means that we're going to set number three, okay. So we'll set number three. All that this means is that, uh, that the, you maybe cannot see it here now, but the cam lobe will be facing down, okay, on these two cylinders, okay, so that the valves will close completely. You don't need, you can't, cannot have the valves open when you, when you are setting, um, the ta you know, the valve clearance. So we'll take the, the thick one, the 0.30 of a millimeter, because this is the exhaust valve here. The exhaust valves are normally the widest, they got the greatest gap, the biggest gap. Okay, so we'll turn it down. Turn it down till you're turning it right up against the feeler gauge. Turn it right up against the feeler gauge, like that. You can feel that that is pretty tight, okay. Um, You know, it, it, it's up against, all right, no forcing. And then we'll take the lock nut, we'll take the lock nut down. While we are holding the adjuster, okay, with a screwdriver, we're locking it with a size 12 spanner there. All right, now it's locked. 
pull out the feeler gauge, you can feel it's like a smooth motion. Okay, it's just the right amount of clearance. You can see when I when I when I, I cannot move that rocker, but when I take out the, the 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 feeler gauge, you will hear. Okay, you will hear the play there. Okay, so that's point three of a millimeter. If I put the point two in here now, the point two is going to be very loose. Okay, very loose. That's the point three because that's the exhaust. It's the widest one. Okay. So we will go over to the intake. The intake is point 0.2. We'll do exactly the same thing over there. We'll turn the adjuster down until it uh, basically, um, you know, till it, till it just goes up against the feeler gauge. And once it's up against the feeler gauge, we know that that's the proper clearance that we need. Okay. And you don't force it at all. You just turn it against. You know, I've got a lot of uh, oil. Give me a ring. I've got lots of oil on my hands, so. You know, it's losing grip of my tools, you know. So yeah, um, we'll just do that. Turn it loose, backwards a little, then you turn it against. You can see it's against. We take the lock nut all the way down. We take the size 12 spanner. While we are holding the adjuster with a screwdriver, we lock up the adjuster. Okay, the, 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 the lock nut, the adjuster's lock nut. And that is number uh, point two of a millimeter clearance. If we try and put the point three in, it won't go in. Okay, you see, I can't get it in. All right, but it will go in here because this gap is, wi is wider than the, than the, than the intake. Okay. All right, so the next uh, in the sequence, uh, you know, the firing wood is one, three, four, two. So we're going to be setting, we've just set number three. We're going to set number four, which means that we're going to rock number one. So if you see, as I turn the engine, uh, the exhaust valve uh, opens and it starts closing. And as it reaches its top, the intake, the intake one will start opening. And that's what we call rocking. So it's rocking on number one. So we will set number four. Okay. That's how it works. So remembering that uh, the exhaust is 0.3 of a millimeter. Okay, this one's a bit tight, so we need to loosen it up a little bit until we can get the feeler gauge in just, just nicely. Okay, in between uh, the valve and the rocker, the valve tip and the rocker. And then we'll tighten it just against, all right? Making sure that the feeler gauge can still move inside there, just about. We'll take the locking, uh, the locking nut. We'll hold the adjuster with a screwdriver and uh, there we go okay that's 0.3 of a millimeter feeler gauge just going in so we go over to the intake valve and we'll do exactly the same there okay you can actually see that there's lots of play on this one so she's pretty loose we'll turn it just up until she goes right up against and then we'll lock her up with a lock nut okay so that's 0.2 and that is point three. Okay, exhaust intake. So now we will go to the last one, which will be number two. Okay, we got a set number two. So that would mean that we're going to have to rock number three. Okay, so it goes very simply. Um, okay, you rock four, you set one. Okay, you rock three, you set two. You rock two, you set three. You rock one, you set four. Very simple. So now we are going to be setting number one. Uh, sorry, we're going to be setting number two. So we need to rock number three. You'll see number three's exhaust valve open, uh, pushing down. As it pushes up, it'll push the, the intake down. There we are rocking now on number three. Okay, we're rocking on number three. We're going to be setting number two. Point three of a millimeter. Point three of a millimeter, not three millimeter, point three of a millimeter. Okay, so these clearances are not very wide, as you can tell. They're not very wide. So we'll get the point three more feeler gauge in there. Loosen it up a bit, I tightened it a bit too much. So feeler gauge in, tighten it against, 
okay and then we'll tighten the locking nut now you know with modern cars we don't get a lot of this nowadays it's either shimmer adjusted or it is uh, hydraulic uh, lifters well in this case we've got the good old-fashioned manual adjustment on the valve clearance okay in the old days when i was a, a, a an apprentice and in, a, in the early years i did plenty of this okay because most cars were like this they were manually adjusted okay so we'll tighten up that lock nut we'll hold the adjuster and that should be 0.20 should have 0.20 clearance okay so we've set all four of the cylinders all right so we can now safely put the tappet cover back to start it and run it warm and then we've got to take the tappet cover off and reset the tappets when while it is hot 